What's up guys, today I've got a super quick tutorial for you. I'm gonna show you how to use the Lightning Network with Coinbase. This is going to allow you to withdraw Bitcoin from your Coinbase account to an app like Strike over on your phone that's using the Lightning Network. And the benefit of this is that you're not gonna be paying any massive withdrawal fees from the exchange. This is gonna be the fastest way for you to get your Bitcoin off some centralized platform like Coinbase onto your Strike mobile app or some other decentralized Lightning wallet that you might have on your phone. So to get this started, I'm gonna be over here on my iPhone and I'm gonna open up the Strike app or some other Lightning wallet app. Maybe you're using Zeus or some other mobile Lightning wallet. So all you're gonna do on this app is click on Receive Bitcoin. And you're gonna click on, in this case, Bitcoin wallet so that you can receive a Lightning invoice to your Strike account. And currently at the filming of this video, at least Coinbase lightning withdrawals only work using lightning invoices that specify the amount that you're trying to receive. So we can't just copy this lightning invoice, generic lightning invoice here and click on transfer on Coinbase and click on send crypto and paste this generic lightning invoice, or we're gonna get this error that says currently Coinbase only supports lightning invoices with a fixed payment amount. So instead what we're going to do here on our strike account is click on that specified payment amount. And let's put in a thousand sats, which as the recording this video, super small, 87 cents. Let's go ahead and click on done. And then we'll copy this new lightning invoice that we just created for 1000 sats. We'll paste that here into Coinbase. We'll click on this lightning invoice that it just recognized. It's saying that we're gonna be sending over the lightning network, which is correct. It's gonna take about five seconds, which is basically instantly compared to especially regular Bitcoin transactions that can take sometimes 10 or 20 or 30 minutes. And then you'll note down here, we're seeing the same 87 cents and we're getting a $0 and zero cent processing fee. And if we click on this, we'll see that currently the lightning fee on Coinbase is equal to 0.1% of the value sent. So maybe if you sent a bigger amount here, you'd be paying a little bit of fees just so that Coinbase can properly route your transaction through the Lightning Network and have it finally end up on, in this case, my Strike app. So let's go ahead and click on Got It here and then just click on Send Now. If we pop back over here to Strike, we should see that the Lightning invoice that we created on our Strike account is almost instantly or instantly filled. And there we go. So it says 72 hours here on Coinbase and I was a little like, what the heck is going on? Um, but the request has been paid and now we have those extra 1000 sats here in our strike app. And just to prove that it came over, you can come here in the strike app to this little clock button up in the top right. And this will show you your activity where we can see that we received our payment from the lightning network, our 1000 sats. We asked for a thousand sats. We got a thousand sats over in Coinbase. We actually spent 1001 sats. So we did pay a one sat fee. As of the recording of this video, one sat is like less than one tenth of one penny. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions or if I lost you at any point, I do still respond to all the comments and then check out these videos here to learn more about the Lightning Network and the Coinbase Advanced Trade API. Love you all. See you next week.